is your bitumous version of sedimentary rock. You can tell that it's sedimentary, one of the three major geological formations, by the striated layered look. Also striated upside down, it uh, forms this way sometimes. Or if you hold it like this, it forms this way. <laughs> <laughs> Chili Mac head to head with lasagna. Definitely wins. Spice. Good spice. Commander Leary mm -hmm. testing out this PCT equipment. Everything's the, failing. Uh, the stove was a fail. <laughs> the green fly was a fail. <laughs> we'll see how the uh, quilted sleeping bag does. I just cinched up the, feet, the foot bag there. The tripod with the camera sunset was a success. Well, that was fun. That was good. Good little stretch of legs this morning. Warm up the hands yeah. and the feet. <laughs> We did one mile from Juniper Campground up to the summit, yeah. and then back down. Dad slept really well, so he was in full form. Oh yeah. He was bragging about his uh, sleeping bag being so puffy <laughs> that he was gonna fill the tent, it. baby. That <laughs> thing fills the tent. I'm telling you, I'm a happy camper when I'm in that thing. I tested out my pack, so I'm feeling trail ready. So what worked, Keegan? Uh, and what didn't work? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bigger question. Everything worked. My jet boil failed this morning, so I gotta fix that, take that to REI. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised the bear can fit in the pack. Other than that. How about the ground cover? What do you mean? Did that clip right in? Oh no, I already got an email back from Big Agnes though. Oh, what's the so answer to that? They said they need more information, so I have to send them the product numbers. It says he thinks that my tent, even though I bought the HVUL1 tent and the HVUL1 ground cover, he still thinks the the product model doesn't match up or something like that. Wow, so that's weird. We'll see. Yeah. And how about the cocoon system with the uh, well, <laughs> as opposed to the sleeping bag? What cocoon system with systematic. Yeah. Uh, it's noisy. Was the only thing. Get <laughs> <laughs> like crinkling around on my uh, my air mattress. A few potato chips in the yeah. sleeping bag. So, but that's good. That way, uh, nobody will want to be my friend on the trail. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get all the alone time I want. And it was windy last night. Man, it was blowing. There was a few gusts that just blew the chairs across the hill and knocked everything off the table. It was like howling. Yeah, yeah. I wore my earplugs because the wind woke me up, and then I put the earplugs in, and that helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything else? Would you come back? I'd come back. I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah this is cool. Midweek is the ticket. Yeah, midweek. That's the ticket. Juniper Campground, Mount Diablo. Campgrounds one through eleven to fifteen are the ones with the view. The other side, you're kind of sheltered by the trees, probably more protected from the wind. But that's a major tip. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good tip. Pro cool tip. <laughs> <laughs> I would not forget salty snacks. Although you brought the cashews, so that helped. But that's some chips would have been good. Yeah. And then some sort of dessert. I, I fucked that up. Yeah. No dessert. With the high octane Starbucks instant powdered caffeine this morning, that was good. That was Got everything moving really well. Speaking of moving. All right. <laughs>